and I'll come back home. Cool. I know say it don't take small why I drop video and that are because I don't they do paid mentorship programs with some of them. So if you're not they interested in the mentorship program, we are going to teach you now one on one. Then just follow the link for the description and then we go take them from there. So but meanwhile, for today's video, I'll show you how to build this profile web page with Bootstrap and JavaScript. I hope say so you're not going to enjoy this kind of video because this profile website it makes sense where we we get many things we will feel learned for this portfolio website. This is a even get secure form. We say it gets your own recapture. And then I can't drop one nice animation. We will say if we add any animation. So I go teach you now. And if they put correct SVG animation on top of your web pages. So if you check them, you can see a fully responsive website. If you check them for mobile phone, is still fresh if you check on for tablet is still fresh check the menu you click on you can see the menu don't they collapse now if you say make we expand them again like i close this one if you say you want to download the resume if you even download your resume for here this is not just a pdf we say anybody if you click on and download your own resume make we test the form make i show that as the form they even take work so i could just put my name for here so then I go put my email for here. Then I go put my phone number for here. And then make I just drop one small note for here. We say we go take test, say everything done they work correct, correct for us. And because in a secure form, you go need click this I am not a robot. So once you don't validate finish, you can click this send message. It go come redirect you come this thank you page and if you click even this link for here we'll say go carry you go back into the website and by the way this site i go show now how we feel deploy them online so that we feel they work with this site so we say make we check the back end now our form name be this now the time where the form just show be this so make we open them you go see say now the message where the form they give us for here so anybody if you send you a message online are you going to see this message for this back end for here so if you now enjoy all this kind of video no one no forget to just take one seconds one seconds pause the video just like them um, subscribe if you never subscribe already make you start to the code for here soon so now now the time where we say we could come deploy this portfolio projects where we done the build for yes so on top the internet and we're going to use netlify so make we open up our vs code again if una never watch the previous videos where they build all these things out we gonna go watch them i go drop link for here and then una if you watch the whole video from start to finish for the terminal here want to say we done the run our server we you stop our server and now we're gonna need run a build command pnpm run build make i close all these ones and this build command it they come from this our package.json we go run vit build so if we press enter on top of the terminal we will run this command for here so we go build our project for us it will help us put all the files, it will help us shrink the files where it needs shrinking, it will help us put all the images, everything we need, it will set them up for us nice, nice. So that's a very good thing. We're gonna make our site to the load fast, fast. So as we get this build, we don't give us our disk folder. Now the same thing when Netlify go do for us. But before we use Netlify, make we jab out the disk folder. We're gonna need to publish our code on top git hub so just click on the git icon for here then we go click initialize repository because we won't come commit our code on top of github we're going to give a commit message make we just call them initial commit or init commit then make we click this button to commit them so click commit don't commit and now we're going to publish this branch so if you click public or private i go click public so that on our see the code aha don't commit our code so make we check netlify because now here we will go to deploy our site 
So if you come Netlify website, you're gonna need to create yourself a profile. And me, I don't already get profile. So if you never get, just create a profile for Netlify for the kind project where we build Netlify now 100% free of charge. So make I just quickly log in. So we did the Netlify dashboard. You only click on this add new site. We go import an existing project. And then we could just select deploy with GitHub. This will ask us if we want to authorize them for on our own. We could now click accept or authorize anything like that. And then if you search for the reports where you want to import. So we could just search for this one. I call them portfolio project. So we could just add them for here. Now it will ask us which branch we want to deploy. We could say we want the main branch. It will ask us for our base directory. We could leave them like so. Our build command, everything, it don't detect them for us. This is now why I like Netlify. And then we go just click deploy. So once we don't deploy them, Netlify go help us post our site and it will give us even a domain name. So if we change that domain name, just click on site configuration and then we go scroll down small and you go change the site name. So I could just give them a name. Now if you call them any name where you want, and then we go press save for here. Go back site overview. So as we don't get them, if we click them and you go see say we get our portfolio project on the internet. So if you share with anybody, if you share with your employers, anything, and everything go to work. And you they see, say we even get our recapture, they show nice, nice for here. So make we go back into the Netlify dashboard and just scroll down for the side by here. You go click on forms. Then we're gonna need enable form detection so that the form go feel work for us. So there they write all the code. But as we don't enable them, at that time we can't fit the work with the forms. So form detection go to work to make we refresh the page so that the detection go fit pick them. Now if we come back inside this our form, make we test them. So make I click this recapture, it don't work, and then we go submit them. And you see, we get this thank you page. If you customize this thank you page to anything where you want, and if you click on, go carry you go back the web page. So you they see say if you go back the Netlify dashboard with, for the forms, you can see say we're gonna get all the entries for our forms. So that naive. That are all we're gonna to need to build, deploy, host anything we want to do with Netlify. So I hope say so, you enjoyed this project as much as I did. So if you now they like all this kind of project, and if you now don't want to see projects like this for future video, make you now not forget to like them, share them, and let me know even say for the comment section if you now enjoy this kind of project and which kind of project you now go like make me build. This year, 2024, because by the time when I watch them, it will be 2024. So I will see you now for the next video.